Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Footies is confirmed by this loading screen, the voting that we had yesterday. There is so much to talk about, including that 85 times 10 pack being added to the code along with new weekend league rewards and insane objective cards already being leaked for the promo that starts tomorrow on Friday. Seriously, there is so much to unpack and uncover and talk about inside of FIFA right now because of this promo that is upcoming. There's a lot of market movements that are probably going to happen in the next couple of days, especially on Friday. I want to talk about that. I want to talk about the whole footies vote situation because we think we might know who win just because EA messed it up again like they did last year. And of course, take a look at some of these crazy leaks that we have talking about some premium footies items. Not entirely sure what those will be, but it is nice to know that officially footies is confirmed shout out to the loading screen shout out to ea sports putting a vote out yesterday we did call that that was nice to see so let's get right into it if you're excited for footies hit the thumbs up on the video and of course subscribe if you are new let's start from the top because i said there's a lot of info to talk about let's start with what they did yesterday with the footies votes they dropped three players in the game and they said hey you pick one and we will give an sbc to two Winners. This is awesome, right? Because we get two SBCs instead of one, how it has always been before. Usually they just picked one player and we got an SBC for that. Now, the only issue with this yesterday was when they dropped the player pick, right, of what you were supposed to choose between Havertz, Wabisaka, and Luis Diaz. When they dropped this player pick, they did not drop them as loans. We had this exact same thing happen last year. This is my screenshot from in the stream. Yesterday, cheeky plug, twitch.tv slash the foot account and link in the description. Check us out there. It's a blast. But they didn't drop these cards as loans. And what that does is some people, instead of choosing the card that they actually want, they go and choose, oh my goodness, I can get a free 84 rated Kai Havertz card, which then I can go use in an SBC as fodder instead of maybe voting for an 80 rated Luis Diaz because I would rather have the fodder card that I can go and use in one of the very... Uh, many SBCs that are out at this time that require a lot of 84s, right? The 85 times 5 upgrade. You've got an 85 plus player pick that was available. You've got many player SBCs that people could go and do with that fodder. And you might be thinking, Nate, that's not enough to really like impact the vote, is it? It absolutely is. It absolutely is. I would be shocked if Kai Havertz is not one of the winning cards when we get the released SBCs uh, pretty soon. I don't know who's going to win. Honestly, I think Kai Havertz and Luis Diaz are going to be the number one and number two cards that will end up winning. That's just my guess, but I, I was not expecting Havertz to win. It, it, it would seem crazy to bet against a Juan Basako, a United English player that has not had a special card at all this year. I, I mean, that's why I'm a little bit, I guess, torn between who could win this vote, but I really feel like Kai Havertz might be having an advantage to win one of the two players to win because he was 84 rated. So we'll see. I think that the winner of this, as they said in the tweet, the two highest voted recipients will receive a future footies SBC. They didn't tell us when, but I think this might be on Friday. They usually do a quick turnaround on the vote and the winner of that vote usually does get a win around. Uh, the turnaround's pretty fast. And of course, the winners will get five-star weak foot uh, cards. They will get a card with boosted stats and they will have a five-star weak foot. Luis Diaz already has a four-star. Wambasaka has a two star and Havertz has a four star. So it won't be as big of an upgrade for Havertz or Diaz, but we will see what happens. You guys might remember this from last year. It's the same thing that happened with the Carval Hall. It was Carval Hall and Manolas. And a lot of people just took Carval Hall because of the rating over Manolas being 86 versus 83. It's kind of the same thing this year. Although we'll have to see if it changes at all because there's an 84 rated card, 83 and an 80. We'll just have to see. But that was the biggest part of footies yesterday on FIFA. Now let's get into some more leaks and some more conversational pieces because there was a lot of things tweeted out yesterday that are very interesting to talk about as well regarding weekend league rewards and just like some of the details of new things of footies that we've never seen before. First thing is here, Shapeshifters is four weeks, right? Footies should be a five-week promo. This actually isn't a surprise because I believe last year footies was a five-week promo 
as well. So I'm not super surprised by that. Just kind of going forward, it's nice to know that we can expect this to be a bit longer of a promo per usual. Now, a couple other things that were interesting from yesterday. Foot Sheriff said there was a new type of card that was added called a premium footies item and that they work differently with chemistry. It says chemistry will, will work similar to Foot Heroes, a green link with everyone that plays in the same league they will be available via sbc and objective he goes on later to tweet that the winners from the nominees picks and also dynamic duo objective will be classified as premium footies so nominees picks i'm guessing that he means the winners of these will get the premium footies cards i don't know what to think of this i really don't because that's really intriguing to me. It sounds crazy that they would drop a new card type that would link as similar to Foot Heroes. Um, I, I think that maybe the premium footies item just actually means the card that's on the loading screen for a, for a second. I had that thought cross my mind. Like, is the, is the premium footies item actually the one that is like the real footies card design? Like this right here, is that the premium footies item? I, I don't know. So we'll have to see if EA tweets out anything about that. But that's kind of crazy because we've never had a separate promo of EA dropping cards that have different links than what normal cards have in the game. So that's kind of something I'm unsure about. But he says there's going to be some cards with new chemistry links. So we'll just have to see. Some people wonder if that's like um, a bit of a, you know, introduction or test for chemistry in FIFA 23 because evidently that is changing as well. So that's kind of an unknown. We'll have to see what happens later on with that. Of course, this is the official car design from the loading screen. This will probably change today with other things on it, but I think that car design is pretty nice. Nothing super crazy, but pretty nice. Now let's move on and talk about some more leaked cards because you guys might remember the Enketia and Smith Rowe objective last year. Chelsea fans are absolutely loving life right now with this leak of a Mason Mount and Reese James dynamic duo objective. It's good to see Chelsea cards back in the game, not even as a Chelsea fan. We've seen Conte recently. Uh, we saw Timo Werner. We have the Havertz in the vote. And now we have two huge objective cards that are probably going to be dropped tomorrow on Friday. Mason Mount and Reese James. That's massive. And if Foot Sheriff is correct with his leak, that would mean that both of these cards would have uh, a part of that. They would be a part of that different chemistry system as premium footies items, I believe. He says they'll be available via SBC and objective. Uh, so I, I don't know. He says that the dynamic duo objectives are classified as premium footies. So that would be kind of crazy if these would green link to all Premier League cards and not just Chelsea or English cards in the Prem. So that's kind of crazy. But this is huge, right? Those cards look absolutely disgusting in a good way. So we'll see how they look when they actually get dropped in the game. But that was a really cool concept that they dropped last year with the Enketia and with the Smith Row. I know Foot Sheriff was tweeting about that a little bit. You guys probably remember that. So W concept from EA, W player selection, honestly. So I'm excited to see those drop on Friday as well. Now, also as a part of footies that is a leak, we are having new and updated weekend league rewards, which as of this time, they do not show in the game, but that's because I'm recording this before the division rivals are paid out on Thursday today. But I think that's going to change because there was some pack code that was added just a few minutes ago. Fresh, hot off the press information. Tots and shapeshifters will be included in packs and player picks, which is a W, but we think we know what those packs and player picks are going to be. This also includes the 85 times 10 pack code. That's a lot to unpack. We'll talk about that in a second. Here's the first two. 90 plus shapeshifter plus efigs tots three player pack. I think that both of these are weekend league reward packs because since they were added to the code, on late Wednesday, early Thursday morning, this is when you see uh, some of those rewards updated, I believe, in-game for like the foot champs for the upcoming weekend. A lot of times it does get updated. Now, the only thing that I'm curious about is, is this going to drop in the game today? And are these brand new weekend link rewards going to be for this weekend? Or are they going to be for next weekend? I don't know. If you go in the game and look right now, it still shows... The foot champs rewards as the like the old rewards, right? What we have had for the past couple of weeks with the efix cards, the 91 plus efix tots, all that good stuff. But as you can kind of see, there's two packs that have been added to the code, right? Two different packs. I feel like it's very similar to how right now you have two different packs. You have a 91 plus efix and minor tots three player pack for 14 wins and above, rank four and above. But rank two, it's just 91 plus efigs tots three player packs. So 
based on this code that has been added, to me, the three player pack that you are getting here, this would probably be for rank four and I think rank three. Does rank three just have e figs? Okay, rank three is just e figs. So I guess for rank four, uh, you would be getting this 90 plus SS plus e figs toss three player pack. And then maybe for rank three and above, you would get the 92 plus, which would also include heroes in it shapeshifters, hero shapeshifters, or team of the season. Premier League, so top five league rated 92 plus. So that's kind of how it seems to me. But really, I'm just curious to know if they're going to update that in the game today for this weekend or if it's not going to be till next weekend because it would make sense for them to update it next weekend as well since the season has one week left after today on Thursday. So that's kind of the big news. And that makes Weekend League just a little bit more grindable, right? It makes you want to play just a little bit more. I mean, a 90 plus Shapeshifter plus E-Figs, that could still be a really, really bad pack. But the pack, the fact that Shapeshifters in it are nice. And then if this is rank three, two, and one, like that's a pretty nice pack right there. Those are going to be pretty awesome to kind of look at uh, and see uh, who is in it. Also, this is only one player. I just noticed that. That's only one player. This is three players. So I don't know how they're going to, how this is going to be spread out. That makes me think about it a little bit more. I just noticed that. I don't know how that's going to look. Maybe they'll give you one of each. Hopefully, that'd be kind of cool. We'll have to see how it looks. But watching game today to see if it gets upgraded, that's a big piece of that. So, also, an 85 times 10, the pack that everybody has been waiting for and wanting is officially added to the code, and it is very, very exciting. But hold your horses before you get super-duper excited. Just remember that the 85 times 10, the first time that it was dropped last year, was not dropped in a repeatable fashion uh, right away. It was dropped multiple times, non-repeatable. Probably, I would say it's going to be very similar to the 85 times 5 that we have been having for the past two weeks now. The 85 times 5 has been available every 24 hours. You've been able to like repeat it, right? And redo it one more time. I don't know if that'll be the case with the 85 times 10, but the fact that the pack is in the code is very exciting. And it means that we are in the end game, right? Every, everybody was just kind of waiting for this. And now we can say, okay, check mark, it is coming. EA Sports is gonna give us this pack that we love. And hopefully, I would love it if it drops repeatable every day, like the 85 times 10 does during footies, because that would be very hype. And that would help us out so much with SBC fodder going throughout the, the footies promo that's gonna contain a lot of great SBCs. So that is a huge pack that so many people were looking forward to. It's finally added to the code. I'm excited. I know a lot of you guys are going to be as well, but I don't think we would see this pack until probably next Monday because I would assume it's going to be just like the 85 times five and released like on Sunday or Monday when they do the upgrade packs. Um, so I don't think you would see it like tomorrow. It's probably going to be a little bit later on, but that is very hype because that means we are, that's, that's just an SBC we've been looking for, a pack that we've been looking for for so long and that so many people have been very excited about, myself included. Now, that's a lot of information about footy. So if you have any questions or comments, please put them down below. I feel like the biggest question mark surrounding everything we just talked about would be the foot champs rewards. Uh, everything else we're gonna kind of find out tomorrow with like who the SBC is. Maybe we'll get like foot sheriff leaks on Friday morning about what SBC players have won from the vote or something like that. We will have to see. Now, let's talk about the market and let's talk about yesterday just a little bit in this video as well. Market wise, what is in packs during footies? We've talked about this a little bit, and this is kind of relating to today's content on Thursday. I think we might get an updated loading screen today because last year, this is the loading screen that we had with showing all these different car designs. And what we knew when we saw this last year, what we knew this meant was these were the different types of cards that were going to be included in batch one of the re-released special cards that come out during footies. Footies usually does not drop a new promo team of cards. And I feel like if we were getting a new promo team this year and they were gonna do something different, Butch Sheriff would have leaks about it and he'd be telling us. This to me, I think we're gonna get a loading screen like this today and EA's probably gonna drop cards and show um, different card designs on the loading screen from previous promos from throughout this year. Fantasy Foot, maybe Foot Captains, maybe versus ice and fire foot birthday. I really hope they don't go back too far. Hey, look at there. They have it now in the game. Footies nominee, GG's EA Sports. Um, I really hope they don't go back too far. Like if they go back any further than winter wild cards or anything before team of the year, honestly, I think that would be a bit disappointing. I know last year we had record breaker team of the knockout stage and rule breakers cards included. 
This year, we could have signature signings included as well. Again, batch one is really, really great for fodder. There's going to be a lot of special cards in packs. There should be 100 plus special cards in packs tomorrow, which makes it great for crafting, great to get fodder in your club. It drops team of the week prices because team of the weeks, of course, are going to be included in that in that batch. If you have team of the week cards, the safe play right now is to take the money on these. These were up to like, I think, 65,000 coins yesterday. They may be down a little bit. Still right around 63, 62K. But if you have any of these in your club, I would look to take the money because I think that with everything else that's going to be dropping in packs, I think these cards are going to continue to go down. And even team of the season cards, I believe there were there were not any TOTS cards in the first batch of footies re-released. Um, there were team of the year cards, but there were not team of the season. So that's the only thing I'd be a little careful with are like your really high and inflated team of the week and tots cards at the moment but here is the simple answer for everything that's going to happen on the market this weekend let's say they re-release like they did last year let's say they re-release cristiano ronaldo's team of the year card uh into packs his price is going to get destroyed and that's just that's just the fact oh my gosh 1.6 <laughs> he's already getting destroyed so people have seen the leaks and i know the market's dropped off a bit because people have just seen the the leaks about team of the uh sorry not team of the year the leaks about footy starting. Ronaldo, okay, Ronaldo is down from 2.3. Yeah, he's been 1.7. Wow, I haven't checked his price in a couple days. So he is absolutely down. Team of the season is around 2 million coins as well. But if you guys remember last year, I remember making a video last year. It's actually this one right here. Um, it was like the biggest market crash that we had ever seen because we had preview packs last year as well. Card prices dropped literally 90%. Literally 90% some of these cards dropped in price last year. Like, take a look at this. Ferland Mendy, when I look at the graph, right? Just watch this. He went from 396,000 coins to 145K. Like, look at that drop-off, man. Like, that that type of stuff is most likely going to be happening tomorrow on Friday with the cards that get re-released back into packs. Now, we're going to talk a little more specifically about that in tomorrow's video once we maybe have an idea of what cards are a part of that re-release when they start showing us what kind of cards might be in that but if you have cards in your team um you know it's it's just tough because you don't know what cards are going to re-release but i would imagine there's going to be foot birthdays road to the finals future stars team of the year cards last year i think there was like four or five of them um that were re-released you know so i i think you know this year a guy like you know Shoot, Conte could be, wow, Conte's actually up a little bit. Um, Messi could be re-released. You could have Mbappe, like, you could have Ronaldo. Like, there's so many options of cards that could be re-released, and that's the, the scary part, right? Those are going to be the cards that drop on the market a lot. But it's also like, okay, they're re-releasing these old cards and packs. What about these new shapeshifters? They're releasing cards and packs that are behind the curve. What about these new cards? They're also dropping, right? Where's our El Sharawi that we, we've been watching in price? Wow, Hazard 1.2, that is down. Abamyang is down. Um, Atal was lowered. He bounced back a little bit. El Sharawi is 260. I saw him at 230. Ramos was 1.2 lows. He's back up a little bit. Watch for more periods of panic selling, especially on Friday. And I'm just talking about this right now very quickly because I think prices are going to continue to drop a little bit more, especially on Friday around the content drop of foodies. But then some of your most recent special cards, this happened last year too, big time. Some of your most recent special cards that are not back in packs yet are going to have a rebound because people are going to be like, okay, this content is cool. SBC's objectives are great, but the cards that are in packs are behind the curve. So I'm just going to go back out and buy cards that I want to use in my team. So absolutely watch the panic selling on cards across shapeshifters, one, two, three, four, some of your most meta team of the season cards. Anything that is not re-released in packs, you're going to want to keep a very close eye on this weekend in terms of panic selling, potential rebound uh, on Friday night. Or if even if it's, hey, I want to buy this card for my team, you know, kind of timing the buy in the panic sell so that you can maybe uh, lose less coins when you whenever you go to sell that card in the future. Maybe it's in a week or two or something like that. Or if you're just wanting to try a card out for the weekend and you want to get it at a good price, that's going to be an area of when we'll be looking to buy some of those cards. So there's a lot 
there's a lot to unpack and a lot to uncover with this whole footies promo and with everything that's going on inside of it. It's going to be mad fun. I'm super excited for it. Um, and again, I'm just excited to see what more information we get today on Thursday about it. Speaking of Thursday content, it's probably going to be a quiet day, right? The 85 times five is going to be re-upped re again. We'll be able to do that one. I would imagine that most people right now are saving their packs. I think that's a very, very good idea if you're doing that. I think it's very smart if you do that. Um, I, other than that though, we don't have any other SBCs. We did get a new shapeshifters challenge yesterday, number 16. There was no token inside of that. Maybe we get throwback marquee matchups finally giving us a token today. I don't know, um, but that would be something to keep an eye out for is another version of throwback marquee matchups. A couple more packs you could save if you want to. But again, it's a Thursday. I don't expect a lot of big content on this Thursday. One thing I will be very curious about though is the 93 plus shapeshifter and the 85 plus player pick because these were all released yesterday on Wednesday at the most random time ever. It was like EA said, oops, we forgot to release content on Tuesday, so we'll just release it at 6.30 a.m. USA time or 11.30 a.m. UK time. So Correa is now out in the game, little overpriced, decent card, not that great. We did have the 85 plus player pick and the 93 plus shapeshifters only player pick, by the way, which we'll be able to do again tomorrow on Friday, not uh, today on Thursday, but tomorrow on Friday. Uh, and we'll be able to do the 85 plus player pick again today. So I don't know if EA are going to change the times on this or if they're just going to let it roll. Uh, we'll just have to see. That'll be one thing we're watching today. So if you have SPC fodder, maybe look to take the cash on that today, I think, before we head into this weekend a little bit more. That might be a play. And then, of course, yesterday we had the Foot Hero Shapeshifters upgrade, which was actually kind of decent value. Although the pack weight wasn't that good, it was at least a semi-cheap gamble SBC that gave you an opportunity at least and it gave you a shot and maybe packing somebody like a Ginola or an Abedi Pele. I still have a couple of Abedi Pele's. How much is he right now? He is 1.48. So he is down. Wow. 146. Okay. So I feel like that kind of encompasses the whole, you know, the realm of the market right now is, is card prices are down. Some of them have rebounded back up a little bit after the panic selling, but with more footies info coming today and more talk about the 85 times 10, people are going to get very, very excited about footies and everything that's going to come inside of it. So I do think that there will be some more drops today, some more panic selling and probably more on Friday as well, especially if EA drop a banger day of content. So that's kind of everything that is going on right now on the market and on this game. It's exciting though. I know it's a lot of information. It's a lot to think about. It's a lot to cover. But it's super duper exciting because footies is on our doorstep, guys. It's official. It's confirmed now. It's good to see actually in the game, like a loading screen and the cards and everything like that. Wow, this card bounced back. GG's. Um, it's just good to see. And I'm excited for footies and I hope you guys are too. But if you did enjoy the video today, please hit the thumbs up on it. I would greatly appreciate it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you are new. Tomorrow is footies, lads. We're excited. Again, it's been Nate the Foot Account and I will catch you guys later. Peace. Out.